What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about Takung Art. Once again, that's Takung Art with the ticker symbol TKAE. Guys, if you like the information and analysis that I'm providing in this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. So let's get going. Recently, Takung Art has been gaining attention from uh, retail investors. TKAT stock by the time of this recording is currently trading at $4.04. It's up roughly 17% today and it's down 89.84% this year but it's up 35.12% in a week. So um, if we scroll down in Yahoo Finance, uh, let's, talk, like, let's take a look at the description of the stock. It says here that Takung Art uh, through its subsidiaries operates an electronic online platform for artists, art dealers, and art investors to offer and trade and valuable artwork primarily in the People's Republic of China. Its electronic online platform is located at www.takungae.com. The company offers online listing and trading services that allow artists and art dealers owners to access art trading market where they can engage with a range of investors. Its platform offers and trades in various net artworks such as calligraphy, paintings, sculptures, crafts, jade, jewelry, metalware, ceramics, and antique furniture. The company serves serves traders, original owners, and offering agents. Takung Art Corporation LTD was founded in 2012 and is headquartered in Sim Sha Chui, Hong Kong. So we can now conclude that this stock is actually uh, in the NFT business. So uh, we have an article here that says, Shocking Numbers, the NFT Market Size in 2022. So are you wondering how big the NFT market size was in 2021? Or perhaps you're looking to invest and would like to know how much the NFT market is forecasted to grow by 2025. So it says here that the, mar the NFT market was nearly $25 billion in 2021. In 2022, the NFT market is expected to reach as much as $35 billion in sales volume. Based on its current growth rate, reputable sources forecast the NFT market to grow to about $80 billion by 2025. Most NFTs fall into one of six different categories, art, collectibles, gaming, metaverse, utility, and proof of ownership. If you guys are wondering what is an NFT, NFT stands for a non-fungible token which means it can neither be replaced nor interchanged because it has unique properties. The features, digital asset. NFT is a digital asset that represents internet collectibles like art, music, and games with an authentic certificate created by blockchain technology that underlines cryptocurrency. Unique, it cannot be forged or otherwise manipulated and exchange NFT exchanges take place with cryptocurrencies such as, Bit such as Bitcoin on specialist sites. One of the most popular NFT that was sold recently was CryptoPunk 2338. So if you're wondering why it is, it was sold for $4.4 million and this is how it looks like. On January 20, uh, 13, 2022, there's an article from uh, Seeking Alpha that says China to launch blockchain infrastructure to support NFT deployment. So it says here, with the help of China's state back blockchain services network, the country expects to introduce blockchain infrastructure, infrastructure to support NFTs deployment. This comes with when cryptocurrency transactions are illegal in China through NFTs, which are different to the digital tokens like Bitcoin and Ethereum that they say have no legal use. It also says here that some NFT stocks include Binco Ventures, which is one of the retail uh, favorite, and another one is uh, Takung Art with the ticker symbol TKA, TKAT. What do we see here with TKAT ahead of the trading days? As you can see in my graph, uh, we must have found a support at around 3.34. Now we have another support at around 2.29, and it seems that we are trying to struggle with that resistance at around this area, around $4.11. Uh, As you can see in your RSI, we are not even oversold or overbought, so we are still staying in the neutral, which means in a daily time frame, we still have a room to the upside. If we click in a smaller, smaller time frame, in a 15-minute chart, you can also see here that we seem to be cooling off in this area and we are going to the next leg up. The worst case scenario is if we pull uh, downwards, we still have that support at around 3.86. So guys, if you like the information and analysis that I provided with you in this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Once again, this is your boy, Don Leo Trades. I love you all. Peace out.